uh, real quickly, I'll, I'll finish. What 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 is said among believers, even even moderate Christian believers, as far as uh, oh, we they go and they pretend as if they they support the old uh, mm-hmm. uh, interpretations of the Bible, and but I think there's a lot more going. I think there's a lot more. Uh, secretive open-mindedness going on in religion. I think people are, are, are have evolved to... Uh, Can you give an example of this? What, people have evolved? No, I mean, this was an example of this secretive open-mindedness. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Well, I, I know a lot of different types of people, and I know mm-hmm. some religious people, and mm-hmm. if you really talk to them, you'll find out, you know, they don't think God is a little old man that lives in the sky, and they don't really believe uh, anymore. They're, they're, they're questioning the, the whole justice of the eternal hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, some are even questioning uh, afterlife in general. Is that really that important? Uh, you know, mm-hmm. and really is what the message is about is okay. you know, the, the earth and what we're going through here, this life that we're going through now, obviously. Okay. Well, I, I think I, I see what you mean there. And, and, and all of this is sort of by way of pointing out that we, we make too many unfair generalizations on the show, is that sort of what we're, you're getting at? Because yeah, here, I, here's... I really believe there's a lot of heavy generalization going on. Like Tracy said something about uh, religion in general has this idea of uh, disdain for humanity. And, uh, that, well, I think that's true. And, and when we talk about, uh, uh, for example, doctrines and beliefs and uh, ideas that religions have, you know, we are maybe not necessarily saying all of the religious believers out there subscribe to those, but at the same time, uh, a couple of points that I'd make to, like to make, first off, is that I, I would suggest that theism in all its forms, even the most open-minded, progressive, what have you, still has at its root a, uh, an unproven assertion, which is that there is some sort of sentient being, so whether you think of him as an old man with a beard or you know, the force or, you know, metachlorians or whatever they are, there's some sort of sentient, causative, intelligent entity out there yeah, that made us and made all of it. Mean, yeah. Oh, I just, intelli- intelligent thinking, you know, having ideas, okay. acting upon so that, you know, just... Pre-qualifications of, uh, yeah. of one intelligent being, okay. Yeah, and, or, or right. several if you're polytheistic, and... and so this is just a fundamental, unproven claim that is at the root of, of any theistic religion. And so that right there, whether you at that point become some, you know, a bomb-throwing fundamentalist wacko or just a, a very nice, even-tempered and, and uh, moderate. tolerant moderate, uh, you, you still have that particular set of ideas right. uh, at, uh, at the root of your thinking. And, and generally, that's what needs only to be through explored. that filter does yeah. hum- humanity matter. And... And yeah, and so no, it's I true that, that I do. Yeah. Only through that filter, humanity matters. Um, well, that doesn't even make sense to me. Christianity but, uh, has a doctrine of salvation. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of, sa- of what do I need saving from if humanity matters on humanity's terms? What am I being saved from? Well, uh, we're saved from ourselves. Saved okay, from, that's you know, my point. That's that's, that's 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 my point. point. They're offering me salvation from my being human. I don't need to be saved from being human. That's a dehumanizing doctrine. Do you see what I mean? Go ahead. Is he on? Wait, uh, was you, it? Have to, you have to hit the one. Which hit. one was it, John? Uh, okay, John, sorry about that. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, we're, you're back. Sorry. My, we just needed to, we, we just kind of, Tracy needed to make her point there, and, and too much crosstalk kind of, you know, is a little confusing. Yeah, it, telling me that I need to be saved because I'm a human being, and that human beings require some sort of external salvation because being a human being is not good, or yeah. not good enough, is dehumanizing. Mm-hmm. That's the very definition of dehumanizing. This idea that by, by simple virtue of being born and existing at all, we need saving. Uh, be, yeah, because it, we are you're saying corrupt, something's is, wrong with me, and there's not. I'm human, yeah. and it's okay. There's nothing okay. wrong with yeah. being human. I got you. I got yeah. you. Can I make a point? Sure. Okay. We um, salvation itself is un- undefined here because if you're talking about again, once again, the salvation from eternal torment and God is this sadomasoch, uh, this masochistic. It doesn't have to be hell. He's going to torture you for eternity. Not what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah, oh, that's bullshit. And yeah. you don't need salvation from that. But we all we're we're improving. As a, as a race, we're, we're, there's lots of kinds of evolution going on. There's intellectual evolution, technological, I believe spiritual, and moral 
whatever that means. Evolution is going on, and, and um, I believe that um, we we're, we have evidence of this everywhere. You know, if you look at the governments of today, is is as messed up as some of them are. And, you know, and, I mean, they used to burn people at the stake, and they okay. it used to be a public event. And the point is... You know, mm -hmm. That doesn't happen in the, in the U.S. anymore anyway, and it doesn't happen in most countries anymore anyway. Right. Because and people would, are because people figured it out. Yeah, I, I would suggest yeah, that. That's what I mean. and that's yeah. what we've been saved from. No, it's yeah. not. Well, well, no. Let me let me let me let me tell you what's done the saving here because I think I know what you're getting at in a general term. Our our you know, our uh, these ideas that that you bring up uh, have, are part of what is known as a cultural enlightenment. It is a period in our history, especially in the, the history of Western civilization. Uh, known as the Enlightenment, and this was a period when secular ideas, non-religious ideas, ideas that were not tied to the idea of a god, a deity, this sort of punishing father figure, these ideas began to be pushed to the back burner, and things like human rights, like the idea of the dignity as the, of the human being as an individual, began to have more and more influence in our culture. So yes, we don't burn people at the stake anymore because secular ideas made that uh, made that made it clear that that was an abominable thing to do yeah. when you had very strong religious cultures you saw that sort of thing just as you saw justification for slavery it is because of non-religious ideas that we see these kinds of intellectual evolution that you're talking about this idea of you know e egalitarianism between the, the genders and the races and what have you you know or racism is uh, these are ideas that are being fought not because of anything having to do with, you know, belief in a god or a deity. But there's a greater so, point. I, I, there's I a. Know what you're saying? Yeah. And by the way, you don't see where I'm going at all. It, that's uh, true. We don't. And I would yeah. say an argument to that that it's not only religious systems that burn people at the stake and hung people. It's Agreed. Also political system. It's mm -hmm. war systems. It's economic mm -hmm. systems. So it's not only religious systems. Uh, Agreed. To blame religion is uh, for all the ills of the earth. Nobody has. There's other generalization that I hear going on here. Oh, we've no, we're we've not doing never that. done that. We're not doing that. We have so, never done uh, that. I, I we're saying you are. No, we, we're, we're, we're not. saying that not right now. No, we have minutes, never have. You know, you, when you had some dumbass on the line who was talking about uh, dinosaurs on a fucking yacht. You know, I think we're done with you, dude. Yeah, you know, go ahead. I mean, I, if you I, know how to make your your point. Because we've been sitting in our, for several minutes online, and you never really got to a point. If your idea is that we make broad generalizations, look, we're atheists, okay? And this is an atheism show, and we critique religion on this program. And we do hold religion responsible for the things that it does. Now, if you want, to sit a, if you want us in every single phone conversation that we have to split hairs and uh, be like, okay, well, we're not talking about this, and we're not talking about that. No, to hold religion responsible for the things that it does specifically is not this unfair generalization and yeah, to, yes while there are cultures there are uh, political systems that have been corrupt and that have been dehumanizing that have done many of these bad sure. things to to sit there and claim that religion has not had or that that there's too much of an emphasis on religion is, uh, when we simply bl blame religion for its role in those same activities right. you know you're, you're you are what uh, is known as uh, Jeff D's wife has a wonderful term for guys like you and it's called ignorstic Right? You're somebody who just wants to whitewash and downplay the role of one thing over another thing. You just don't want to really think about the ramifications too much. You want to give religion a fair shake that it doesn't deserve by saying, oh, well, it's not necessarily any worse than these other things. Well, it has been worse, right? Well, it I mean, a lot of those most, of, most of the great atrocities that go on in this world have, have a religious motivation behind them, right? Not all of them, no. We'll admit that straight up front. But I think that if you look at, uh, well, 9-11, you know, t it, it took uh, you know, fundamentalist Islam to motivate that. Most of the, uh, I'd say the overwhelming majority of the anti-Semitism that you see in the modern world had its roots in medieval religious culture, right? Uh, you know, look at the history of uh, you know, the Middle Ages, particularly, say, during the time of something like the Black Death, right, where one of the reasons that people latched onto for why the Black Death, this, this plague, was ravaging the landscape was that Jews were poisoning wells, right? And you would have entire towns where they would take the entire Jewish population of the town, herd them into barns, and set the barn on fire, right? 
And, and these, these were good Christians doing these things. So to say that, oh, well, you can't just blame religion for stuff, that's a gross right. generalization. A lot of what you see, most of the atrocities, I think, are attributable to religion. Most of the atrocities that have influenced non-religious systems that commit the same atrocities, those non-religious systems were influenced by these ideas that came before that had a root in religion. I think religion plays a very strong role and a much stronger role than most other things. So... Yeah. And I'm not going to shut up about that. We have so, people up for stoning in mm -hmm. Iran right now. Yeah. We've got um, Uganda passing laws to want to kill or imprison gays for life. Which what I mean, has, this is now. This yeah. isn't like 100 years ago or 500 years ago or in some antiquity. This is in today's world right now, religion at the root. Yeah. People dying, people being executed in gruesome ways mm -hmm. because of religious belief. And Christians in Uganda and Muslims in Iran. Mm -hmm. And so nobody gets the pass. Um, but I wanted to clarify, when I was talking about salvation being dehumanizing, I don't just mean if you believe in a hell. Even if you don't believe in a hell, the central tenet of Christianity is that Jesus Christ was put to death as a human sacrifice for the redemption of mankind's deprivation. And as long as a person accepts that that act took place and was just, they're saying that an execution was required to make things right for me with God. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that whatever I did, whatever I'm guilty of, required an execution for recompense. Mm -hmm. Whether I would go to hell or not go to hell is irrelevant. It is dehumanizing to say that a human being should be killed for being a human being, but luckily Jesus was killed instead, so now we don't have to be. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether you think after I die, I just die, after I die, I go to hell, I go to purgatory, whatever you dream, it doesn't matter. The central tenet of salvation is based on an execution human sacrifice, a blood sacrifice that was required supposedly by this Christian God in order to uh, atone for people being people. That's dehumanizing. Yeah. Okay, this is... So, look, if this were a political show, we'd talk about that, right? If this were a show, you know, if this were the, you know, something else experience, some, some political party experience, we'd talk about that, right? Right. If this were the vegetarian experience, we might right. rave about the... And there's the skeptics, evil, you know. too. I mean, there's yeah. skeptical podcasts and things that you can listen to that yeah. cover all kinds of things, but we but, are but this an is an atheism program. show, so don't be surprised when we talk about religion and criticize religion more than, say, we criticize, you know, XYZ political party, Right. Okay. Oh, and I. So, I look so like right here on the label. I'm being okay. prompted, I think, to make an announcement that oh. um, Threadgills is at 6:30 at 301 West Riverside Drive. Next week is the show number 666 with <laughs> Matt and Jeff. I think they have a little bit of special plans. Mm -hmm. um, you can mention that it's special. I'm told. They and to do um, song. let's see. Oh, do, is just, that for real? I don't no, think I'm supposed to read that part. <laughs> okay. So we'll go to. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think it looks like... Joe is on line two. Okay, this is in Joe in Dallas. Dallas. Hi, Joe. Hello, how are you guys? Oh, it's a female Joe. I had no clue. Oh, the J-O. <laughs> okay. Um, I was calling to talk to you guys about your patience that I've seen with some people as a fan of your show. Ah, uh, well, you know. I, I get... Oh, my gosh. My boyfriend has these bumper stickers on the back of his car. One of them said atheist, but it got torn off a bunch of times. The other one said, born okay the first time, and the other one said, yes. your theology off my biology. Beautiful. And I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Since he put those on, we get evangelists every day, 7 a.m. on Saturday, every single day. <laughs> I'm jealous. It's I, an opportunity. Deconvert yes. them. You mean they come to your door? <laughs> You mean they come to your door? Fix I, them. I am so jealous. Uh. <laughs> and, like, I, he has no patience with them. I mean, he is just... <laughs> I mean, he's worse than Jesse on his Patreon. Like, he's just like, no patience. <laughs> you know what you need to do? You need, wait, to, wait. you need to just videotape these encounters and YouTube them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know, right? You should do that. And I'm not kidding you. You should do it. It would be beyond awesome. And now they, now they bring children with them. So you think it's Girl Scout cookies? But it's not. <laughs> And it's like, I want some cinnamon. Where are my cinnamon? <laughs> yes, or uh -huh. the peanut butter ones. But yeah, you, that's the thing. It's like when they come to the door and they don't have cookies, you need to explain to them that that's a requisite. You need to give them cookies. Yeah, or just yeah, have cookies for them or something. And I like the way that you guys go about things. You, you go about it to where people can call you and approach you instead of you, you know, forcing yeah. people to listen to you. Oh, thank you for it's noticing. Like, thank yes. you for noticing that. We get so many criticisms from people saying, why are you going out and attacking people's beliefs? And we're like, you know what? People, people, people call you. us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yes. You can always turn your TV off. Oh, thank you. A viewer notice. We don't even have internet. I mean, we watch it on 
Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like, you know, if you don't, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. 